A newborn child in Uganda is now vaccinated against 11 diseases. This is a shift from the traditional six killer diseases. The increase in the number of immunized diseases is due to new outbreaks of disease causing infections which triggered research and creation of new antiviruses. The vaccine is like a trigger. It awakens your body's defense system and it puts in place, your body will put in place mechanisms to deal with those agents when they infect you in future. Immunization coverage in Uganda has stagnated over the years for reasons related to both supply and demand for immunization services. According to the 2016 Uganda Demographic Health Survey, only 55% of children had received all basic vaccinations, while 37% had completed all age-appropriate vaccinations. We visited eastern Uganda where stories of parents not heeding to immunization calls are prevalent. Despite having more than 90% immunization coverage at birth, many parents do not return their children for follow-up jabs, increasing their risk of catching killer but preventable diseases. This is one of the biggest challenges at Kamuli General Referral Hospital. Because our turn up is always high, though it is affected by different seasons. If it's a rainy season, you see other mothers don't turn up because they have to first attend to their garden. Targets for disease elimination, including measles, rubella and maternal and neonatal tetanus, are behind schedule. Our district is not well facilitated to with reaching out to every child. Funding is little, but at facility level, the programs are not followed, reaching out to all, all, all communities. And our staffing levels or staffing norms at the at level two is too low and sometimes one qualified staff with a nursing aid so these ones may not have the capacity to reach out to all the the children in their catchment area this poses a big threat to the health of the population as it creates an open door for outbreaks such as measles which was reported in over 58 districts by december 2018. the main issue is where why are we having it generally there is laxity. Laxity on the side of demand. There are people or for some religious beliefs who do not want to have their children vaccinated. Attitude of our health workers, the knowledge gaps, because when we, we recruit, uh, sometimes uh, some young, young, young nurses and midwives may not have the capacity and the knowledge to and the knowledge to, of immunization. So we need to conduct regular operation level trainings, but these ones are not happening. According to the 2018 UNEPI overview of the immunization program, there are an estimated 59,995 unimmunized children in Uganda. The country director of PATH, a non-governmental organization advocating for an improved health system, says health budgeting is not prioritized in Uganda. The funds that have been allocated for immunizations are actually not adequate, yet it's the core, or it's the background, or it's the backbone of health. The funding is not enough. Because if you look at, if you ignore immunization, then you have to deal with treatment. So if you look at, for example, let's talk about immunization against cancer of the cervix. Vaccination costs less than $50, okay, to actually prevent cancer of the cervix. But treatment for one case of cancer of the cervix is in millions and millions of money. And even that, then, that treatment may not be successful. The budget we had for last financial year was $9 billion. For this financial year is $11 billion. If for next financial year we moved to $14.4 billion, there would still be a gap of $6.6 .6 billion. Now, this gap is what translates itself into stockouts. Dr. Driwale says the Ministry of Health is mobilizing resources for a mass vaccination campaign which will majorly focus on measles and rubella virus. We are also going to add on rubella vaccine to the one of measles so that we deal with the two epidemics once and for all.
and now the rubella will be part of the routine immunization program which will take our fight against vaccine preventable diseases to about 12 diseases in target. Vaccines prevented at least 10 million deaths between 2010 and 2015 and many millions more lives were protected from illness. Vaccination does not require any major lifestyle change. Ah! Walter Mwesije, NTV.